The abortion debate is now one of the big issues when it comes to the race for governor, lieutenant governor, and attorney general. Today, candidates came out swinging on the issue. Our political reporter, Jack Fink, is taking a good close look at the claims that are being made surrounding all this. Jack? Well, Doug and Nicole, citing recent polls, the Democratic candidates in the top races are going on offense, sharply criticizing their opponents, the state's Republican leaders. But Republicans are standing their ground. Um, reproductive health care is under attack in this state. At a news conference in Houston, Democratic candidate for governor Beto O'Rourke slammed the state's new law that bans most abortions, with no exceptions for rape and incest. The only exception is to save a mother's life. There's one person who is responsible for that, and that is Governor Greg Abbott. There is one way to overcome this, and that is by defeating him in this election. Governor Abbott has had ceremonies when signing new abortion laws, and today his campaign spokesperson, Renee Easy, issued a statement saying, quote, Beto O'Rourke's extreme views on abortion, which includes support for third trimester abortion, partial birth abortion, and even opposing life-saving care for babies who survive abortion, are not only out of touch with Texas, they're out of touch with basic humanity. No longer free to choose if a pregnancy is right for us. O'Rourke released two ads criticizing Abbott and calling him extreme for signing the Texas Human Life Protection Act. While the governor sent out his own ad calling O'Rourke's position on abortion extreme. Two recent polls have shown around 55 percent of all Texans believe abortion should be legal in most or all cases. Uh, and many people uh, have been hoping that this day would come. Republican State Representative Stephanie Click, who has helped pass the new abortion law, says she's not worried about a potential backlash against Republicans at the polls this November. You know, many of these are individuals that do not support any restrictions up until right before birth on having abortions. And the general public does not support that. I look forward to working with those in office to turn back this total abortion ban to restore the ability for women to make their own decisions about their own body. Many political analysts are waiting to see whether the abortion issue impacts turnout in November or whether other issues such as inflation, the border or guns play more of a role in getting people to the polls.